a lot of the talk for this year's Renault R31 has been about its pioneering design, particularly its really fancy forward-facing exhaust. The strengths of Renault and what they have really going for them this year is really going to be about how pioneering their design has been. They've come up with some really clever innovations. The car looks really slick and it proved itself to be quite rapid, certainly in the early phases of pre-season testing. A lot of the other teams have quickly set about trying to copy the design, so it'll be interesting to see whether or not they'll be able to keep pace or if the other teams will interpret the, this design a lot better than them. A challenge for me with Renault is around them constantly trying to be Lotus and to position themselves in that winning hearts and minds campaign to, to draw fans into that Colin Chapman era. I think a real obvious challenge is going to be that they don't have Kibitza driving for them anymore. Obviously he had his horrific accident earlier in the year while he's rally driving and the whole team has very much been built around the success of Kibitza. He was their championship chance. so. We've got Heitfeld come in to stand in for him. Will Heitfeld be able to perform to the same level? Is this his last chance in Formula 1 as well? Mm. We saw him last year race for Sauber for five races. They replaced him. He did a bit of tyre testing. But does he have it in him to have a championship shot? For me, Petrov, I think of Vitaly Petrov and I think of a lot of Russian sponsors and I think of a lot of bent cars. I think that's unfair. He did have his moments last year. We saw him up in the top 10 a few times. He's very solid in the wet. If there's unusual circumstances, I think he can perform. I think at this stage though, for me, I'm still a little bit out on Vitaly. Um, I, I think that if he can keep it out of the fence on the Grand Prix weekend, uh, that for me will be my improbable probability for him. I'm not yet rating him highly enough.